I've got a, a solenoid here. That's this coil of wire over here, which doesn't have current flowing through it. I have actually a chunk of iron that is inserted in here in order to sort of concentrate and keep the magnetic field where we want it, right? Um, and uh, it actually serves as an amplifier as well, but it basically keeps the magnetic field into this region. There is magnetic flux sort of coming out like so. This entire thing is a, is a magnet, all right? So I've got this dipole field here, which comes out and goes out like so, all right? So if I try to change the flux in, uh, in this iron magnet here, then, and I have a current carrying object. What I've actually got here is just a chunk of very dented aluminum. In a minute, you'll see why it's dented, right? A chunk of aluminum, so I've got a conductor here in my hand, right? I'm gonna put that on there, like so. And I hope I just turned that on. Now what I'm gonna do is turn the current on here, which is gonna create magnetic field. As the magnetic field turns on, it's gonna generate current in the loop, and then we will see what happens. I'll do that again, because it's fun. <laughs> All right, I generate current in the loop. I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> All right, um, so we actually know everything that's necessary to understand what's going on here. I generate current in the loop. There are fringing magnetic fields which are coming out of the sides of this magnet, sort of going off a little bit, right? That current's being generated around the loop. Current in a magnetic field exerts a force. The force lifts the, uh, the, the coil. All right? That coil is not a magnetic material at all. It's not magnetic. So all of the forces that are being generated here are being generated by current in the, uh, in the conducting loop and the changing flux. All right? That current in the conducting loop with the changing flux can also be seen if I just pass a piece of metal through a coil. So what I've got here is actually just a piece of metal on a pendulum. So this is a piece of aluminum down here. It is not magnetic. You can check to see that it's not magnetic by actually putting it in here. And you see it's not pulled in any way in the, uh, in the magnet. So now what I'm going to do is take that freely uh, rotating pendulum and pass it through the magnetic field, attempt to pass it through the magnetic field. And I hope you saw that that damped much more quickly than it would otherwise. Let's try that again, because it's fine. All right, now let's take it out again so you can see that. All right, without the magnetic field. So what's going on there? What's happening is that as that piece of metal passes into the magnetic field, currents are being generated in the piece of metal. Right? You're changing the flux through some piece of the magnetic field, and, or, or, or some piece of the metal is generating a current. The current is exerting a force. That force is opposing the change in the motion. Right? Actually, that's a pretty good pendulum. It's actually still going. Let's do it with the magnet again, because it's fine for me. That's useful. There's one case that I know of where it's used, but I wouldn't say it's necessary or useful, which is that apparently in the Cadillac Escalade, is that the big one, the yeah, giant yeah. one, right? The shocks are eddy current magnetic shocks. These currents that flow in the metal are called eddy currents because they just go around in little circles inside the metal. 
Now, by the way, we can interrupt the currents flowing around the metal by slicing the metal up into little pieces. So that's what we've got over here. Maybe you can see through it if I put it this way. Not so well. There. You can see that the metal is sliced, so we can interrupt the flow of current. And now I'll just start my pendulum again. So it's the same thing both ways. One side I've got a continuous sheet of metal. The other side I've got one that's sliced up. You see this one doesn't damp anywhere near as quickly as where you allow the current to just completely flow around in complete circuits, right?